BillLendisCleveland.com here at Chrysler Center in Ann Arbor, Michigan after Ohio State's 70-66 to win over Michigan on Saturday night. Um, pretty good game for the Buckeyes and probably frustrating for some fans who might wonder why it took until now against maybe the best offensive team in the Big Ten for Ohio State to put together probably its best defensive performance in Big Ten play. Uh, Michigan started really hot, 6 of 8, and then made 13 field goals the rest of the game, and Ohio State wasn't great defensively, but was, was pretty good and as good as it needed to be to get a win that it needed to move the 4-7 and seven in Big Ten play. Um, Derek Walton from Michigan went off, but other than that, I thought Ohio State did a pretty good job defending. Um, Mark Loving, in particular, I thought did a pretty good job defending, and I know that's shocking for some fans to hear, but he might have played his best game of the season. He finished with uh, 17 points, five rebounds, and an assist, uh, played 36 minutes of the 40-minute game, uh, hit big free throws down the stretch to help Ohio State seal the game, so I thought it was his best game of the year. C.J. Jackson started a point guard. Uh, Jaquan Lyle, a little banged up with an injured ankle. Didn't have a field goal, but also hit big free throws at the end of the game, and Ohio State just got contributions from everybody, which is something they've been trying to get all year. Um, everybody played double digits. I believe eight guys played, which is what they've done all year, but it's been rare that all eight guys have played double digits, and everybody did that. It was aided by some injuries to Lyle and some foul trouble for Jay Sean Tate, but this might have been the blueprint for Ohio State moving forward to get everybody involved, make sure Andre Wesson plays in big defensive moments, and he did that today. I thought he played pretty well for the most part. And Ohio State just put a very good game together against the Michigan team that's not great, but it's a Big Ten play, and it'll take a win any way you can get it. Ohio State got one, 70-66 to here against Michigan. Seven Big Ten games remaining, four of those at home. The next one is Wednesday night against Rutgers, a chance for Ohio State to turn this win into a little two-game winning streak before they go back on the road and play Michigan State, or excuse me, play Maryland and then play Michigan State on the road. So chance for a win Wednesday and then two tough back-to-back -back road games for Ohio State. So Wednesday is pretty important against Rutgers. We'll see what happens then uh, for Michigan. That'll wrap it up for me here. Uh, for Cleveland.com, I'm Bill Landis. Thanks so much for watching.